The concepts of good and evil in the lands between are only as reliable as the one telling the story. Adan was labeled a thief amongst his people, but what if he was actually a hero? In this video, I'll be discussing the tale of Adan, Thief of Fire and his betrayal of the Fire Monks. Once all of the facts have been laid out, I'll leave it up to you to decide if he'll go down in history as a traitor or a hero. If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe, it helps the channel out immensely. I post lore and theory videos discussing topics like this all the time, so without further ado, let's get started. In order to best understand why Adan's possession of the Flame of the Fell God incantation was considered treacherous, we must first understand the order of Fire Monks and their beliefs. The item description for the Fire Monk Hood tells us that they are guardians of the Flame of Ruin, forbidden by the Erd Tree and said to be kept high in the mountaintops of the Giants. The Flame of Ruin was the physical embodiment of the power borrowed from the Fell God who the Giants so fervently worshipped. The Forge of the Giants contained this incredible power that had been granted to its faithful devotees which posed the greatest threat to the Erd Tree's dominance over the lands between. Those who served to guard this flame from those who would wish to use it against the Erd Tree were known as the Fire Monks, a sect of humans who were appointed to watch over the flame and prevent its use following the war against the Giants. As a sign of their taboo assignment from Queen Merica, their chest armor was adorned with the grotesque face of the corrupt ancient God of Flame. This was not a sign of their alliance or faith in the Fell God, but rather a sign of their obsession with the fear that its visage inspired. The bloated fire prelates served as the commanders of the fire monks. Their attire of choice was designed to specifically resemble key concepts of their faith and devotion to the heavy burden they were tasked with. The fire prelate helm was fitted with a cauldron perched atop its head complete with embers that would surge, similar to a volcanic eruption, when the wearer's faith reached its zenith. Additionally, the massive frame of the body armor was meant to symbolize the onus of their grave vows as guardians of the flame. The sole purpose of the fire monk's existence was to guard and protect the various manifestations of the flame of ruin as they appeared in the lands between. There was one such ability that was feared above all others. Guarded by Arganthi, the chief guardian of the flame, this legendary incantation known as the Flame of the Fell God drew directly from the power of the fire giants. The flaming orb it produced was said to be inhabited by the Fell God itself as it set its enemies ablaze. Despite the immense power of this incantation, it was a well-kept secret known only by a few. But there was one fire monk who didn't regard the flame in the same light as his brethren. Before he was labeled a thief, Adan was a prelate, as evidenced by his garb. It was likely his rank and station that granted him knowledge of the secret incantation that he wanted as his own. So naturally, in a land where power was revered above all else, Adan conspired against the fire monks and stole the flame of the fell god for himself. Hence providing an explanation for the presence of fire monks across the lands between namely in Lyrnia of the Lakes. At least, this is the conclusion that most foolish observers would come to. However, those with enhanced powers of observation and discernment could just as easily arrive at another, more altruistic conclusion. Adan did not regard the Flame of Ruin as a curse, but rather a blessing. Based on the language used in the item descriptions for Fire Monk and Fire Giant incantations, it's clear that the perspective is written from an advocate of the Erd Tree. The primary reason for the Flame of Ruin's containment was due to its potential to burn the overgrown weed and reduce it to ashes. It seems that Adan was not in agreement with Queen Merica's rule or the parasitic Erd Tree's dominion over life and death in the lands between. As such, he sought to steal the flame, not for himself, but in an attempt to set the Erd Tree ablaze and free the people from this gilded age of lies and deception. Upon stealing the flame of the fell god from Arganthi, he was labeled a heretic and a thief and pursued across the lands. Eventually, he arrived in Lyurnia of the Lakes and was captured and subsequently imprisoned in the Malefactor's Everjail, where he would await his unjust execution at the hands of the unknowing Tarnished. So what do you think of Adan? Is he simply a thief with no honor, or a hero who was labeled a heretic? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's all for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Continue your journey through the lands between by clicking the videos on screen now and I'll be there ready and waiting to guide you. 
consider becoming a member for exclusive perks like emojis, members only videos, and more. Or check out my Patreon for weekly behind the scenes content featuring my creation process, uncensored videos, and my massive retro gaming collection. Join the Inhuman community today.